Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is Idika Mary's Ministries Television. This is Reverend Idika Mary. I bring you our show, Expect Good Things. Today, you can I always expect good things to happen to you. Well, I thought of concluding our, our talk on um, stepping in and taking action. The Holy Spirit won't let it go. He will not. So smart. The Godhead is so smart. Just blow my mind. <laughs> Just incredibly happy that I belong to the communion of the Trinity. I continue to talk to you about stepping in and taking action. And let me say this. Are you a daddy or are you a father? Are you a mom or are you a mother? Let me say this. The Spirit of God asked a question today. Do you have time to look at what your kids are doing? As a father, do you have the time to model for your son what it is to be a man? A woman raising a son alone is out of place in the territory and in the divine way of doing things. Completely out of place. A mom raising a daughter alone without a father is completely out of work with divine authority. A father raising her daughter, her son, all by himself without a mom is completely not the divine way of doing things. It's a selfish, worldly way of doing things that will affect the life and brilliancy of those kids. Those women who think that they are smart by always running away with other people's kids. And those men who think they are smart by challenging in court, taking their kids, going to raise for themselves. And women who want to use kids to survive in life. Hear me and hear me clearly. What you're doing is wrong. And the Almighty God is looking at you. And I can see why you are not succeeding. You become a food stamp mama and a food stamp papa. Thank God for the government of the United States and how things, the social directives in America. You will have seen a lot of people begging on the street and telling you. Even with the food stamp, even with the social services, still, they are beggars on the street. Go to New York and see it. I was there, I saw it. Go to the major cities in America, you'll see it. But today I am called to ask you if you are a dad. In the future, when your son and when your daughter open their toolbox, will they find any tool in it? Have you taught your son a trade? Have you taught your son how to garden? Have you taught your son how to do minor repairs in the house and in the car? Have you taught your son how to repay a common lawnmower? Have you taught your son how to shine his shoe? Have you taught him how to keep a dog? Or a horse, or a sheep, or a goat, a donkey, a guinea fowl. Have you taught him what courtesy is and honor? Have you taught him what worship is? A lot of parents are doing only two things they give their kids food and they give them entertainment. And that's it. You're destroying your kid. 
Yep, yeah, you are. My father taught me how to buy and sell. How to travel and purchase things and come and sell them. My mom taught me how to keep a shop and how to be nice to people. My father taught me how to be a ruler and a leader because he was one. He was the leader of his own people. I was born into a family of migrants and where we always migrate to as a half year people. <laughs> My father was always their leader and he rubbed off on me. I sat and watched how disputes were settled in our living room. What are you living for your son? Are you stepping in to take action, moms? Your daughters go out there because you are not an oracle of God to them. You are not giving them nothing in their toolbox. So they go out, they bring you kids. You don't care. You name them after the family. So it's one of those things. After all, after all, the Hispanics are having many babies. So let's also try and have as much as possible. I'm not talking only to black families, to white families, to Hispanic, to everyone. So don't try to say, yeah, it's not happening among my race. Forget it. It is happening. I've seen it. <sighs> Are you teaching your daughter how to be kind? Are you teaching her how to shop for only what is necessary? I don't want to go far. Have you told them of the necessity of education and of paying a price for what they need in life? Have you? Instead of trying to be an overprotective mama, an overprotective papa, where is discipline? You have to step in and take action. It's about time. And let me tell you the truth. As a mom and as a dad, while you are on the internet trying to find a man to manipulate and deceive and make money, your kids are watching you, they are learning. And as a dad, as you are trying to manipulate the women and use them for self-sacrifice, you know what I mean by that? Your son is watching. He's watching begin to step in and take action. And this is Reverend Indica saying to you, step in and take action now before it's too late.